Hi everyone, my name is Billy Katz and this is my game called Shift Shaft. It is a strategic match three puzzle game where players can rotate the board like this. Not only that, but the player is located in the board itself, right here on the top left. Uh, just like any other match three game, it's really easy to pick up and play, but the rotational aspect makes it difficult to master. So enough talk, let's see some gameplay. The way it works is you can mine a group of rocks of three or more anywhere on the board, and you can rotate just by swiping your finger along the bottom in either direction. The point of the game is to move your character, uh, which we've seen is this purple person in the middle, to the exit, which currently is blocked until we complete our level goals. So let's take a look at our level goals. We have to mine 20 purple rocks and destroy one monster. All right, let's mine a few rocks and destroy a few monsters, huh? Um, oops, I landed next to a rat and that's its attack range. You can see rats attack the left and the right. So to attack back, I will uh, rotate so that I'm on top of it. We completed a level goal. Uh, so that means that we are offered uh, some items. So this one looks like a health item, and this one looks like a chest with a random room or item. So I just got attacked. So I'm actually gonna try to move my way over uh, to the health potion. Oh, and look at that. I got offered another health potion by finishing my other level goal. So you know what, why don't I take a look at what's in this chest? because uh, I really can't get enough of just random items. Looks like I got a pair of sandals, so not the best item, but um, that's all right. I will now, let's see, I want to grab that health before I go to the next level, so I'll position it there, uh, tap those away, and you can see when you collect one item, the other one actually disappears. Uh, and that's an offering to the mineral spirits who we'll talk about a little later. So just like that, you can tap away that last bit of rock and you can go into the level exit. Um, so here we have the second level. There's 10 levels total before you run into the boss who is a gem eating spider. Um, and these level goals are pretty similar. I have to destroy some rocks and destroy some monsters. So. Let's see if we can quickly do that. Oh, look at that. I got a pair of gems. Okay, so let's bring those gems down. Oh, whoops. I got attacked by Alamo, who attacks down. Hmm. All right, well, let's get out of here by collecting these three gems and collecting those 32 gems. So the, the game continues, like I said, for 10 levels. Um, but to save time, I am just going to exit the run here and take us back to base camp where I can show you the last bit of the game. Um, so after you die, the mineral spirits will take you to base camp. And here is where you can unlock and purchase with the gems you've earned. Um, no, and not purchases, uh, some permanent upgrades. So you can see I'm already pretty, um, I have uh, all these blue ones that are lit up are ones that I've purchased. And these black ones are ones I haven't unlocked yet. So. This one unlocks when I defeat the boss. Okay. Um, and then uh, over here we have our item pool. So just uh, these are items that allow that show up uh, kind of when you finish goals. And it looks like I have a few unlocked and a few that I have still yet to unlock and then a few that I can't purchase yet because I don't have enough gems. Um, so it's important to pick up gems on your run so that you can have uh, more fruitful runs in the future. Uh, from base camp, you can press start run, and you're thrown into a new uh, a new level. Um, so that is the uh, gameplay uh, preview for Shift Shaft. It is out now on the iOS App Store, and so I would love if you would go download, rate, review, share with friends, whatever you do with apps. And I'm really looking forward to hearing if if you like Shift Shaft. Thanks so much for listening, and I'll catch you next time.